Hi, today we're going to demonstrate bit error rate testing with the Akua MGA2510. In today's test, we're going to have a two-port loopback, loopback bidirectional test. We will have P1 go into P2 and P2 go into P1 through a device or system under test according to this block diagram. And for today's test, we will actually have a second Akua MGA2510 acting as a, you know, as a device under test, which will be emulating some errors that would cause bit error rates. And we'll have the, another one doing the traffic generation. As you can see here, we'll have P1 going to P2 and P2 going to P1. And we'll be introducing the errors on the P1 to P2 link so that you can see that in the Akua MGA2510. Next, we'll go over to the Akua web GUI where you log in. This is our traffic generator. You can see how it's set up um, in the port configuration up top here. We've got a thousand base T and we've got it to generator mode. I have it running right now, as you can see. So I'll stop all the tests just so when you come in, this is always a good way to do the first start. Uh, clear all the stats, just to clear all the stats as you go through. Then you'll go to the generation tab. You can go through and you can see that you have um, how you want to set it up. We can set it up with the packet length. Um, you can add IPG. Um, right now I have it running with just 1% line utilization, so it's very flexible on how you want to set the packet size, what type of packets in the stream. Um, we do support layer 2, layer 3, and layer 4 um, information. Um, as you can see, you can set the MAC, a VLAN, IPv4, UDP. We also have the ability to do the same thing for this uh, port 2. Uh, and this is the traffic rate going from port 2 to port 1. Again, I have it set exactly the same way as port 1. Um, I will go back to the statistics screen and you can come here and this is where you can verify you how you want to have everything set up. On here there's multiple fields we can use. I just have a few set up here but if you want to add more you always go over here to the select rows and you can um, pick what you need. There's quite a few for the bit error rate. I'm only picking a few so if I came here and added these it added to the bottom here. And then what you can do is I can come in here and you can start all and you can see how it's going to go through. So as you can see it coming, we'll see, you know, how many bit error, you know, the test pattern bits. Um, if there's any errors received, which you have zero right now, but there should be some showing up here shortly, the bits. And as you can see, when they come in as they're received, you'll see them come in. And then you'll see it also with the total. And then you'll see your bit error rate. When you run this, you then, then you would just run it until you had the amount or the number for you wanted for the confidence level. And, you know, how do you, how long do you test for the confidence level? You know, they can, they can be caused by noise randomly. You know, if you want to do that, you could run it for a long, infinite test to get it, but that's not really practical. So it's only necessary to test long enough to get an estimation of the BER's performance with a reasonable confidence level. As shown here, there's a uh, ratio you can use to get it and a small chart. This is an excerpt from our BER application note. And if you would like to download that, you can come to our website and request it or give us a call and we'll be happy to discuss this with us. Our contact info is shown right here. And again, here's the information for how you would uh, download our application note. Thank you and have a great day.